Hello, and welcome to this introductory video on P6 activities. As you're probably aware, activities are the basic building blocks for any schedule and represent work which requires resources and time to complete. Once a project has been opened and you are ready to begin building your plan, you can use the versatile Add function. Just as when you create a new project in your projects window, Add will create a new activity when used in your activities window and, depending on your highlighted activity, it will place the new activity directly into that WBS node with an automatically generated activity ID. The process by which an activity ID is generated will append a value of 10 to your highlighted WBS activity ID structure. It should also be noted that activities can be copied and pasted, even as large groups. Useful shortcuts to remember in this regard are Control clicking, enabling a multiple of specific activities to be selected. Shift clicking, enabling a line of activities to be selected. And Control C and Control V, your universal keyboard shortcuts for copy and paste respectively. When copy pasting a new activity into the project, a copy activity options wizard is generated. This is a powerful feature in P6, enabling quick customization to any desired activity copies. Most notably, the user can select whether or not they desire any relationships to also be duplicated, and how they wish the activity IDs to be generated. When utilised efficiently, this feature can vastly reduce the need for manual data entry. If there is still a need to organise activities into a desired WBS node, this can be achieved by cutting and pasting, or dragging and dropping. All activity parameters can be accessed or edited from the Activity Details window, such as Activity ID, Name, and Duration. Equally, most columns which are selected for display in the Table window also allow for changes to be made to a single field by double-clicking. Changes to multiple fields using this method can be made using the Fill Down function. Finally, a word on activity types. Your project should be primarily built from task dependent, that is, your standard activity, and finish milestone, which are used to mark the completion of important phases or sections of work. Start milestones should be utilised when an activity is dependent on an out-of-scope work being delivered. Resource and task dependent, level of effort, and WBS summary activities all have their specific uses which you may encounter while planning, but these circumstances lie beyond the scope of this tutorial. I hope you found this information useful. Please comment below if you have any questions or requests for further tutorials. Logical Projects would like to thank you for taking the time to watch.